My name is George Duarte. I'm an ex-Cuban political prisoner from 1969 to 1979. I went through a tremendous ordeal to obtain my freedom, and now I live in the United States of America in the state of California. This is my story. Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is your t-shirted historian. Just go ahead and let the guest play. Come on, jeez. Holly asked me to review this video documentary, and I approached it uh, as an assignment like any other. But then I noticed what the subject matter was. Cuban escapee slash refugee George Duarte. A YouTuber named Hyphenate, who is a social documentarian, created a video based on the imprisonment of George Duarte. Mr. Duarte was imprisoned during the Castro takeover of Cuba back in the 1960s. He tried to escape many times, and much of this video is his recollections of each escape subsequent recapture, and final arrival and rebuilding of his life in the United States in 1978. As I began to watch this, I felt I couldn't watch it alone. So I called in my father, who is a, another Cuban refugee, close to the same age as Mr. Duarte. As we watched this video together, I would frequently look over at my father, and I would see the emotions on his face as Mr. Duarte recounted, hiding in sugarcane fields in order to evade the guards, seeing a cat thrown into the barbed wire fence as an example to the prisoners of what would happen to them if they tried to climb it, attempting to evade guards on a patrol boat by swimming underwater while being shot at and ultimately being thrown into a cell nicknamed the toaster where the temperatures reached 120 degrees on a regular basis and was also filled from floor to ceiling with roaches. Mr. Duarte was eventually released and arrived in the United States in 1978. He had to rebuild his life from nothing at first attempting to sell vacuum cleaners, despite having never seen one before. For as he put it, all of the floors in Cuba have no carpeting. Mr. Duarte's recollections are highlighted with scenes from the historical Cuba, or enhanced with pictures of the things he interacted with during his escape attempts, such as the sugarcane stacks that he was forced to hide in or the mountains of Cuba which he attempted to cross, equipped only with a canteen of water, a bit of brown sugar, and some vitamin pills. Or the vicious barbed wire fences that he was imprisoned behind, the rolls and rolls of concertina wire stretched end over end. I could see the experience of the events that were shared by Mr. Duarte in my father's face, and scenes from the historical sites and places that my father knew about from his childhood were placed throughout the video, and he would often stop me and point them out to me, his voice quavering with emotion as he relived the memories. Sadly, Mr. Duarte passed away just a few months ago as of the creation of this video. Hyphenate has very artfully crafted this series of recollections with moving music, black and white images of old Cuba, and occasional explanations of the ordeals Mr. Duarte had to face during his escape attempts and imprisonments, as well as noting the inspiration Mr. Duarte brought to him personally. 
The documentary is closed with some final words and explanations by Mr. Duarte's daughter, Lizette, who is responsible for having this film created uh, under Indiegogo originally. I think Hyphenate has done a really good job of bringing Mr. Duarte's story to life. And it would be very difficult for a viewer not to be sympathetic with him and his plight. And as for my father, he was a man who also lost everything when he was forced to flee from Cuba. And I watched, while well, he also watched the video, he frequently wiped his eyes, but he never turned away. He relived his own memories in Mr. Duarte's recollections. And in a way, I experienced it watching both of them. To the Latino slant, please like and comment, but subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I was never a criminal, nor a bad person. I was just a man who was determined to escape my political imprisonment after being cut from my family, friends, and ultimately my freedom. But despite all the challenges I walked through and the failures I endured with my escape attempts, I continued to persevere. Through it all, I still had hope and I held on to it. After all, it allowed me to sustain my sanity. If you hanged off, nothing can break you. You become unbreakable. It doesn't matter what life throws at me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prevail. I was blessed enough to have a family, own a home, but above all, to be free. Never give up.